Hello and welcome back to Vampire. So we have to talk to Edward the uh, Swansea, but we also see a lot of suspicious blood over here. Which could be us explained saying that this is a hospital, but um I'm not so sure. Those who look that way are totally human. Also one thing to keep in mind that uh, the health score in uh, in the district only really go up if I give people their medicine. So <clears throat> I need to get a lot of medicine uh, uh, created and uh, maybe just uh, distribute it among the districts. I don't know. I'm. So far, I was more of a crappy doctor, more of a serial killer. What the hell is going on here? So, she was taken, and no one seems to care. Anyone else? Have you seen anything? Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. About Miss... Hawcroft's disease? How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. <gasps> Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. <gasps> a normal person. Aren't you afraid? What? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. Her arm busted on the outside, but she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. <laughs> <clears throat> you let her bite you? So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood and the pain. It's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. Right. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. <coughs> It seems much more fun than the real one. I wish I could be sick again. Real cause of your injury? Apparently we know that. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. What really happened? Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. I wish I could be sick again. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Why lie? Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Beauty is not everything you can hide forever. You know you can't hide forever. <clears throat> One day you'll have to face your loved ones. Until that day, you have no chance of real recovery. My friends all died in the trenches. It's shameful enough to be alive for these stupid scars. I don't want my children to see me like this. Tell me about your family. You told me before you don't want your children to see you like this. 
Do you have any other family? My sister Agatha has raised me nippers since their mother died. Don't want them to look at me like this. <clears throat> well, we don't know either of those things. We're just making it up. Your sister respects you. Your sister's not a child. I'm sure she has nothing but respect for a wounded soldier, and you are her brother. You don't know my sister, Agatha. She may be young, but she's all discipline and morality. If she ever found out what really happened... She doesn't have to know. She's a sly one, my sister. One day she'll find out the truth and knock seven bells out of me. Nah. I'm better off here. <clears throat> your children love you? Well, fuck your sister. How could children despise their father injured in the war? What do you think? They saw me. Once. My poor angels left the room crying. They keep on having nightmares every week, my sister told me. Well, that's pretty bad. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. <clears throat> Damn. There is really no satisfying ending to the whole story. It just gets worse and worse. I'm not meaning that it's it's bad, but it's like it, it gets sadder and sadder, I suppose. <clears throat> hey, you wanna bite his meat? Miss Miss Vampire? <clears throat> Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Tell me, Thelma, why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Are you romantically involved? Let's just not uh, <clears throat> go with that. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. <laughs> Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire doctor. Okay. You plan to make him a vampire? Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Interesting. That's all. <clears throat> we don't I'll have her last turn. of the dark to your nocturnal activities. Interesting. So it looks like the old chair box is gone. The old woman. Game. <laughs> so, small seat. I hope you're ready. <clears throat> God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. <laughs> Leave him, Jonathan. <laughs> Little does he know. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <clears throat> Damn. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. We need to have some sunglasses. Bad news indeed. Now everyone can tell. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. 
Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. <gasps> the one will notice a few more bodies. Confidence must be restored. <clears throat> we cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. I'll help you. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, <laughs> tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? They will not attack. They're not far wrong. Well, they are not far wrong. The hospital is almost crawling with vampires. McCullum is a fanatic. <clears throat> the guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Sean Hampton. Rest Sean Hampton peace. lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. I was wondering if <clears throat> we'll have to go back to the docks. <clears throat> Actually, I want to do some crafting. Can we do it? Um, fatigue. It's rather cheap. Five. Oh, that's expensive, isn't it? <clears throat> Five, eight a piece. 15 cold we can't even make one of those <clears throat> I guess that's all that we got anything else I can make I can make my bet my weapon better <clears throat> Do I do that? I think yeah. Also we can make some upgrades. So we can increase the damage. Or... We already have that. I can replace it. <clears throat> okay. So it deals a lot of damage. Still my main weapon. Good handle part. Lead rod. I think we already had that. <clears throat> Good handle part is what we need. So, yeah, we already have that on it. It's my main weapon. Rightfully so. That weapon is pretty respectable. Okay, we can also get some skills <clears throat> before we head out. Can I increase my healing? Two thousand points for the next level. It 
I think it requires level 12. So it's technically possible. But... Unlikely. At this point. Some barrier. <clears throat> so it lasts... For two hits. Instead of one. So that's basically double as good. It's not that good. It only counts for one hit. This thing is... A rather lame, actually. Claw. That's actually a good upgrade. Makes it cheaper. And deals more damage. This causes stun. This is just more. Oh. You, you gain blood for attacking. <clears throat> Claws. 450. That's... It's rather spammable. It's a good skill. Blood Spear. <clears throat> 650. I don't know. Cast time kind of matters as well. Science. <clears throat> I can have more bullets. I would like to have some upgrades. Like, uh, the heal is good. I'm not sure what kind of uh, upgrade would I go for here. <clears throat> Anything else that just is really good? And I should probably just pick it up. Blood thirst. More blood for feeding. That's pretty good. Fast region, hard biting, more damage for biting people. I don't know. Maybe I should just save it. We can also jump around. But it's spring. But it would cost us 500 points to get it. <clears throat> anyway. I'm undecided at this point. Let's just go. <clears throat> so that's very far away. I'm not even sure how to move around the, the map. Well, Sean, this is not your lucky day. Am I using the right weapon? They probably have some armor. Seriously? Seriously? Automatic rifle? Time to go for a snack. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it is stable, apparently. So going to the docks. I can zoom in and out. But apparently I can't move the map. <clears throat> I see them but Alright, let's go for a snack. Alright. 
Frosted River. Oh, this is low level. Nullifying. Alright, go away. I need to get my stamina back. What the hell? Finish it! Watch it! It's a kill! I have to say, they have some decent weapons for vampire hunting. I have to give it to them. Like that That's pretty good. Setting me on fire? Uh, that's annoying. <clears throat> yeah. Some quarantine warning. It would be nice to find some uh, merchants. So, we do find uh, a lot of uh, resources, ingredients, for, for medicines. Kill everyone with the club. Great. I, I don't know, I like it. Hey mister, you wanna die? Have more heals. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we have here. I'm going, still going toward the dock. A lot of people are hunting vampires at night. Yeah. Hi, right, Mister. Easy does it, boys. We can deal with this, but. Alright, snack time. He's not gonna die because of it. Alright, but there apparently is enough to kill him. But it's only 600 damage, so it won't be an insta kill every time. <clears throat> okay, even more guys. Oh no, these are vampires. Well, 
that's home realm. Look at this. I can just kill everyone with my club. Why should I be a surgeon when I can just kill everybody? Whoa. You got out? I need more heal. But the heal is cheap, so... It's pretty good. This is... Braille. I need someone who can read this. Yeah, but the woman who well, she's not blind. She's mute. For some reason I assume that she might be able to read it. Save old man. Oh, he's dead. And this old man saw the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure that he's gonna be cool with it. Hey, mister! Uh oh. Some bullets. Are you alright, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? I'm not sure that's any of your business. <laughs> I hope you realize that staying here will put your life at great risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen, or whatever these thugs call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. I wasn't specifically referring to them, but are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. So I decided to come and find him myself, to get some answers. I see. But as I said, your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be nicer, let's say. Perhaps you're right. This isn't the best the way to save the... Andrew. This guy. He can barely stand. Goodbye, mister. Damn. Maybe he went for some liquid courage, like a lot of them. Dear mother, whatever happens to me, always remember that your son loves you. I know you did not always approve of the way I chose to live my life, but I won't change. I was born and raised in this part of town, and I can't just stand what it is happening to my neighborhood, to people we know. I recently made a terrible decision. I decided to strike back against the tyranny of a few. I know that they will retaliate, but I'm ready for whatever comes. Thanks to you, I've always... Love to read. Not that I'm about to take action. I can only cue, quote, uh, Etienne de la Boet. They only seem tall because we are on our knees. I won't kneel anymore, mother. I intend to st stand straight, whatever the cost. Goodbye, my beloved mother. Jack. So he was. name engraved under the blood on the back of the case. Jack Gillingham. Maybe I should return this watch to his family. Maybe so. But yeah, he's dead. Was he really prepared to die? I guess we don't know. Wait. Is that this old man? On the watch? Are you sure you'll be able to- Young man. Okay. Apparently, he will reach the dock. 
I have uh, nothing to worry about. <clears throat> Some shards. It's good that it they glow a little bit. Else I would miss a lot more. So am I going the right way? Not exactly. Limehouse dock. Who the hell are you guys? Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Yeah! What you got? Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Um... This is not particularly interesting. Wait, does she sell anything else? Good evening, Miss. Hello. Can I see? As long as you have. Oh, that's what I got. At sell. Are well, you really not selling a lot? So what do you talk Good evening, about, Miss Cox? I'm looking for Sean Hampton. You live in London. Um, you still use your husband's name? You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. Are you aware of what happened to him? Yes. I'm sure he fought till the end and looked deaf in the eyes. The boys will mourn him. Except one of them, maybe. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member really? and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. You're quite a blunt woman. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not all that interested. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us then, if you don't want to get hurt or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade <laughs> unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. I see. About this part of time? She's healthy. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. That's a bit excessive. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. So, who's the biggest jerk around here? You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the grave diggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. I can just... I can't kill her. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. 
No issues of conscience? And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor, just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory and this is our law. Mm. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Cox. We gotta find Sean. Sean, where are you? Mark my words. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? I'm a tracker of these creatures. <laughs> a vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs to catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night? Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. You don't hunt in those clothes. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what nope. do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. How Mr. Close? Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I'm just kidding. I'm looking for Sean. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... ...they have plenty of reasons to hide. You could help me find Sean. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. I see him. About your work? So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Do you need help? How do you identify a vampire? How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Hmm. Do you need help? Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks. If you wouldn't mind. 
If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. I'm not gonna do it. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. Really? These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. Okay. About the Guard of Privan? Have you heard of the Guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> you hunt alone? So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. I see. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Alright. Well, this is unfortunate. <clears throat> so we gotta go into the bar. Uh, the Turkish turtle. It came back. Times like these, a good drink's just as likely to cause a problem as to solve one. Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the turquoise turtle then, Doctor. The I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? I'm looking for Sean. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. All right. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. I guess I'll talk to Tom then. Who the hell are you? Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Oh, Dad's okay. Dad's personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you. It's time. I should have offered a drink to the boy. He incurs Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Not sure if I wanna have a chat. We want to have a chat with Tom. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. I'm looking for Sean. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? Um, did he return to his flock? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. Well, it would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Well, I guess I must find him quickly. Actually, if you need to find him. The important thing is I find him quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Got it. That's it for now. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. So we need to leave this place and go toward... 
Western Dock? Hmm. How do we get there? I don't think we can go there in a straight line. Can we? Can we? Can we swim? Oh, I can jump. Oh, that's certainly convenient. Oh yeah, we're here. Late spot. Watch out! I recall this place. Convenient. Okay, we had to deal with that. And these shouldn't these people be more concerned about werewolves? I suppose uh, both werewolves and vampires are concerning, but still. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Jimmy, don't stop talking. See you guys.